Hey everybody, this is Ryan from Just a Fire, Just Do It Coaching, and I want to share with you something that just happened for me. It's a Monday morning, um, I am doing some writing, I set the intention today that I'd put out a couple videos, and I, I never know exactly what it is that I want to share, share with you. I want to share with you unrealistic expectations or expectations beyond our wildest dreams, which set us up sometimes for uh, disappointment or what we would be considering failure. And here's the thing is I have a client of mine, um, usually have a coaching call on Friday and uh, this morning she had an event over the weekend that I've been coaching her on and things that needed to be uh, what she wanted to do. And through the entire time, I thought she was setting her expectations high. Uh, however, not one to crush a dream, right? I just, we move forward, let's do this. Let's not put too much in your mind that this or this may or may not happen. Just do the work and you will yield the results. From the results, you get to make some choices. Uh, and those choices are, do I do more of this, do more of that? If it's not the expectation, if you get the result or beyond the result, hey, what is it that I did really well? And repeat those things and do them at a higher level if you want to go to the next level. So I, I, I sent her a quick email this morning just asking her how her event went and the I got a response back hey if you have a moment could you call me and and uh, I, I did have a moment uh, so I called her and, and and this is what came up she said she's gotten tremendous feedback uh, she set her expectations high and the turnout to this particular event wasn't the numbers that she had expected but all the people involved in the event as she set up a uh, uh, like a small fair all the people who paid for booths, all the people who um, showed up, everybody gave her excellent feedback. But yet her expectation of what was supposed to happen was not met. Therefore, regardless of all of that great feedback, her spirits are down. I said, I basically said, listen, what you did was amazing. Listen to the feedback. Feel it. But at the same time, try not to put it into, per, let's put it into perspective. I basically ran down numbers of how you get people at an event and what expectations are and, and some of my experiences so that she understands that what she did was incredible. Uh, what the expectation was maybe, maybe a little bit unrealistic, but doesn't mean what she has, she can't build upon, but the feedback from all the people who attended the event and actually had booths at the event was through the roof positive. So, I've talked to some of my clients. I'll, I'll give you a, a quick example of this. Um, it, we always break things down into small actionable steps uh, as, as I work with my clients. What is it that you can do consistently? What small steps working towards your goals? And uh, when I work with authors, Hey, anybody out there writing a book, here's, here's your tidbit for the day. I say write 500 words a day. Um, somehow put time aside and write 500 words a day. If you are a writer, you should be able to accomplish that in less than an hour. Um, but the idea is just get started. Okay, just get started. Because if you get started, chances are your momentum will go into. And oftentimes when I have uh, clients writing books, they say, wow. You know, I wrote 3,000 words. Sh should I up my goal each day to 3,000 words? And the answer is absolutely not. Why? Because 3,000 words was your great day, right? 3,000 words was good momentum. 3,000 words was like ideal, but is it realistic? Can you put aside those three, four, five hours, whatever it took for you to pump those words out? You won't even get started. But if you reach your goal of 500 and you surpass it and you feel amazing about yourself. But if you say, I'm going to do 3,000 words and you do 2,700 words that day just because you finished your chapter. Guess what? You shouldn't beat yourself up. 
because you had still a tremendous day, but because you set your expectations so high, it feels like a failure. So get started. Go in momentum. Do what you need to do. And, and this is what I shared with her. What you've done is amazing. Stop beating yourself up because you created something in your mind that may or may not have been realistic based on the information. The beautiful thing about this particular client is she's always thinking ahead. She's always thinking about the next stop. All those thoughts ran into her head as I may not ever do this again. Uh, she's already finding ways to make it better as she woke up this morning. And that's something we talked about on the call briefly as uh, I reached out. So stop setting expectations so high that whenever you take any action towards it, you have a failure feeling a disappointment uh, mentally and and just just go forward slowly without expectation without expectation that's what i have for you today this is ryan from justifier just do it just do it